So Joyce, GM is finally getting around to downsizing their big front drive luxury cars, huh? That's right, John. The Riviera, the Toronado, the Eldorado, and the Seville are all due for a very thorough shrinking to midsize by the 86 model year. Now, they're all going to be built on this new e-car GM 30 chassis, right? That's right. They're going to be totally new models. Now, the Riviera, Toronado, and Eldorado are really the same car, so you have to look mostly at the sheet metal to see the differences between them. This is the Buick Riviera, and it's typical of the new look and downsized cars with that long sloping hood and the high stubby rear end. The Riviera shares a thick C pillar with the Eldorado. The Olds Toronado will sport concealed headlights and, like the Buick, will be about 10 inches shorter in wheelbase, which will make it 104 inches. The overall length will be down about 28 inches to 174. The engines in the GM30s will have a crosswise arrangement, and the Buick and Toronado get Buick's fuel-injected 3 and 3.8-liter V6 gassers. The Olds 4.3-liter diesel is optional. As for the Eldorado, it's going to have the same wheelbase and a similar overall length. Interior room is nearly the same as in current models. The Eldo will come in three models. There's going to be a base version, the Touring Coupe, and a chrome-laden style that will have a stainless steel roof band. It gets Caddy's 4.1-liter all-aluminum fuel-injected gas-powered V8. Now, the Seville has a similar layout, but its four doors make it look a bit different in the front end treatment and the even shorter rear deck. That is more conventional than the current model's bustle trunk. Now, that's hardly the end of the e-car news, John, because GM is planning a Mercedes-Benz 380 SL fighter. Hmm. It's going to be sold by Cadillac and called the Callisto, and it is planned to debut in 86 as a 1987 model. Now, the car's convertible body will be built in Italy by Pininfarina for final assembly by Cadillac in the U.S. This photo is of one of the first test cars. Now, our sources say the final design will be a bit more exotic, but the Callisto will be a two-seater only, with both a removable hardtop and a folding softtop, just like the 380 SL. And GM will price the Callisto at $50,000 plus. Wow. What about rumors of high-dollar two-seaters from both Buick and Oldsmobile? Well, they too are apparently in the works, but unlike the Callisto, they will be hardtops only. Okay. Thank you, Joyce.